前傾で打ったんですか Kickboxing is one of the most entertaining combat sports. Over the years, it has quickly evolved and become one of the most popular striking martial arts. During that period, different styles and techniques were developed, making kickboxing a global sport. Without further ado, here are some of the most brutal kickboxing knockouts. In February 2017, Rukia fought against Hiroshi at K1 World Grand Prix in Japan. Now and expect fireworks. Here we go. They're kicking off now. Ooh, big, big. Oh, oh my God! Oh my God! At the beginning of the second round, Rukia knocked his opponent out cold via a jumping switch kick to the head, granting him K1's Knockout of the Year award. Face that's not protected. Because he's worried about his center yeah, line. Yeah. Kenshin Nasukawa and Wan Charon. December 2016, Tenshin Nasukawa versus Wang Charon. The Japanese kickboxer ended the fight in the first round with a spectacular spinning back kick. Oh, spinning kick there from Tenshin Nasukawa. Brutal. Nobody saw that coming. Combat Press later named it their 2016 Knockout of the Year. One shot on Tenshin Nasukawa. Break, break, stop, stop, okay? December 2018, Benjamin vs. Wilness. In the second round, Benjamin managed to stagger Wilness with an uppercut during one of the exchanges. And now you see it's Attic Bowie who's in front of Wilness and lands an uppercut. In the third, Benjamin laced a high kick, sending his opponent face down into the ropes. Really trying to pressure. He was doing good with his combinations, but that left kick just came out of nowhere, just out of the eyesight of Jason Wilness as he throws the jab. August 2007, Peter Ertz versus Nicholas Petas. Ertz ended the fight with a sensational high kick in the second round. Final 16 had that stunning win over Butter Hurry at Dynamite last New Year's Eve under K1 rules. In the 2009 K1 World Grand Prix, Overeem competed against Everton Taichira, a highly skilled Brazilian fighter who came in with a very strong 9 1 record. On paper, Taichira was a tough opponent. Overeem, however, finished him with a brutal knee in the clinch, which flatlined the karate striker just one minute into the first round. March 2019, Tenshin Natsuawa vs. Frederico Roma. Tenshin knocked Roma down early in the third round with a left straight, which left a cut above his right eye. The ringside physician was called in to check on the cut, but he allowed the fight to go on. Soon after the action resumed, Tenshin floored his opponent with a stunning cartwheel kick. Which left him unable to rise from the canvas. With just 90 seconds left on the clock, he knocks down the Argentinian Federico Roma, and it is all over. Ooh, a little bit of a capoeira type kick there, putting his glove on the ground and bringing up the. Makeshirazu Taiga. Taiga ga minte o mai ni shiteimasu akai glove. In October 2014, Taiga faced Takiru at K1 World Grand Prix in Tokyo, Japan.
Taikiru ended the fight with a highlight reel spinning kick fist, 13 seconds into the third round. Okay, guys, you know the rules. Break is break, stop is stop. May 2018, Petch Panamo Rung versus Abdella Isbiri. The Thai kickboxer ended the fight with a flashy head kick knockout. Uh, his cap calls him. Oh, and another high kick, and that sends Isbiri down. This fight is over, ladies and gentlemen. Petch Panamo Rung, Kiat Mukau. Abdella expected the kick to go to the body. Instead, it went to his head and ended the fight. The KO was later named the 2018 Glory Knockout of the Year. And then he just came off and boom, finished the fight with that jumping round kick. Corner Errol Zimmerman, Morocco in the red corner of Badahari in the stare down. In December 2008, Badr Hari faced Errol Zimmerman in the semi-final round of the K1 World Grand Prix. Trying to loop the shin across the forehead of Zimmerman. Butter was struck with a tremendous right hand that snapped his head as he fell to the canvas. Showing legendary toughness, the Dutch Moroccan fought back and finished Zimmerman with a thunderous right cross in the third round. Devastating right hand, smack bang on the Kissa, dead center of the ring. Errol Zimmerman going down face first. Three three minute Dutch. rounds in the Dutch. glory welterweight Dutch. division. May 2014, Raymond Daniels versus Francois Ambank. Midway through the first round, Daniels caught his opponent with a right hand as they exchanged shots. And he's checked some kicks there as well. Fighters exchange and down. Ambank beat the count, but he was sent down again with a powerful jumping spinning kick. In July 2000, the Frenchman Jerome Le Banner fought against Nicolas Pettis, a Greek fighter at the K1 World Grand Prix in Japan. The end of the fight was somewhat bizarre. Jerome knocked his opponent with a right hook, forcing the referee to stop the fight. Nicolas, however, returned to his feet just to be sent unconscious with another left hook after he failed to realize that the fight had already stopped. In December 2013, Daniel Gita faced Errol Zimmerman at Glory 13 in Tokyo, Japan. Gita came out strong, hurting his opponent and keeping up the pressure. First head kick, he's going to the body. Oh, left hook to the head by Gita. Another left hook! Zimmerman goes down! Mamma mia! Before putting Zimmerman away with his left hook, less than a minute into the first round. That left hand right over the chin. There's that knee injury, I believe. Yamada Hiromi. In June 2001, Mark Hunt faced amateur boxing champion Hiromi Yamada for the 2001 K1 World Grand Prix in Melbourne, Australia. After aggressively stalking his opponent with a series of flying knees, kicks, and punches, Hunt landed a powerful right across at the end of the first round, crumpling his opponent in the corner of the ring. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, press the like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any new uploads.